Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look. It is a navy smoky eye. Um, I hardly do smoky eyes, but this is one of my favorites because it's not too intense. I feel like I could honestly wear this in the daytime. If I can do it, you can do it. So that means it's pretty easy to achieve. Uh, so yeah, just keep watching if you want to see how I created this look. So first I'm going to apply tape since the navy is going to be so dark. Just going to apply it from the corner of my eyelid towards the tail of my brow. And it has been stuck on my hand. You don't want to peel your eyelids off when you take the tape off. I'm going to prime my eyes with the Maybelline Color Tattoo Eyeshadow in Too Cool. It is a cream eyeshadow. To keep this from being too tacky, I'm gonna go in with my Naked Basics palette and pick up this color here. It's W-O-S. I don't know what that stands for. I'm just going to put this all over my lid. One of my favorite palettes is the Lorac Pro 2 palette, so I'm going to go in there and I'm going to get this shade here. It's called Nectar, and it is a little bit uh, of a pinky nude color, so I am focusing that in the crease, but I am also kind of moving it down onto my eyelids because we are going to go back in with a different crease color. So for the crease color, I'm going to go back into that same palette and get light brown here. This is definitely a warm brown, which normally doesn't work well for my skin tone, but over top of the nectar, I just really, really like it. So I'm using a crease brush to just put that into the crease. You really don't want it on the inner part of the eyelid, but the outer corner is fine because we are going in with that really dark navy color, so it's not a big a deal. I'm going to go in with the SNYX Avant Pop palette and pick up this shade here. And I'm just going to take a sh any kind of shadow brush and just put that on the inner corner. So now going back in with that Lorac palette I'm going to pick up the navy color here it is a nice dark matte navy so I'm gonna go about halfway onto my eyelid and just line my eyes with the navy and then once you get to the outer corner it's not as big of a deal to be so close to your lash line because we are going to smoke it out after I align halfway and then over into the outer corner I kind of created a wing shape and now I'm gonna take a pencil brush and just blend that out as much as I can This is going to be a long process because I don't want to just put a ton of navy um, because I don't want it to be harder to blend out. So I'm just going to keep building up the color until I, until I have the um, darkness that I want. Just line and blend, line and blend. Then after I have the color that I want, I'm going to kind of start blending that into the crease. Careful not to get it onto the actual eyelid but I am bringing that navy into the crease. And I'm taking the my blending brush that I used the first, for the first shadow and I'm just gonna blend it out, no extra product. I don't really wanna use black eyeliner on top of my lid today so I'm just going to take that same brush eyeliner brush that we used to line the outer half with the navy I'm gonna go ahead and do that all the way to the inner corner my tape didn't stick fully right there so I'm gonna actually have to clean that up with makeup remover I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush and just use the edge of it and just clean that up. Okay, moving on to face, I'm going to take this L'Oreal Lumi primer. It is a light infusing primer. I've actually never used it before. It is super watery. Now I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal True Match foundation. I am the color N2.
For concealer, I'm going to take my MAC Pro Longwear. This is the first color. I think it's NC15. And it's still not light enough to like super highlight with. But I do like to put it under my eyes a little bit. Just It does highlight just a little bit. And it does conceal my dark circles. So I'm also going to put that in the center of my face. I'm going to set my face with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in N5. I think this might be a little... well, I don't know. It looks a little dark, but it might be okay. I'm going to take that same eyeliner brush. I'm going to line my lower lash line with that navy color again. I'm going to take a pencil brush and pick up that light brown color that we used in our crease and just blend that out really, really well. I'm going to tight line my eyes with the NYC 24 hour waterproof black liner. I'm going to use the MAC Pink Swoon Blush. I'm going to contour my face with the Benefit Dallas Bronzer. I'm going to highlight. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I'm going to use the Too Faced Candlelight Glow. And I'm going to use the white side and just highlight my inner corners and then also my brow bone. Moving on to brows, I'm going to take my Anastasia Duo Brow in taupe and fill in my brows. For lips, I'm going to take the Jordana Rose Crush Lip Liner. I'm going to use the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lip in Baby Doll. And let me apply lashes real quick and I will be right back. So I just applied Flutter Lashes in the style Slayla. And then on my lips, I wanted it set a little bit more pinky. So I applied this NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair. And yeah, that is the completed look. I hope you guys like it. And I hopefully will be doing more tutorials in the future. These are the hardest ones to film so it's just a lot of you know figuring it out and everything like that but hopefully i will do more um but thank you so much for watching please like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you like my videos in general and i will see you in my next one bye